Howdy! This is Dan Mick, the Rhinestone Rover. Welcome back. Today we're going to be working on laying your horse down while you're mounted. We've gone through bowing, and you got good at bowing, and then we've gone through laying down your horse while you're standing on the ground. And now we're going to mount our horse and teach your horse to lay down while we're on its back. You've had your horse in the same spot, facing the same direction, cueing the same foot, and laying it down. You're standing in the same place in relationship to their body, and they're used to laying down. Now the cue is going to be changed. You're not going to be standing there pointing at that foot. You're going to be using your spur, and you're going to be on the back. Now this may confuse them, or they may just decide, I don't really have to do it. He's not down there on the ground. He can't do anything to me. He's on my back, so I can just move around. One thing you may need, and maybe not, I usually don't have one, anyone to help me, but, but with one horse I did, and it made it a lot easier to get him to lay down, since if I had a second person standing, giving that cue that the horse is used to getting. If you have the second, you're on the back of the horse, you have that second person giving that cue just like you used to give it, then that horse will, will lay down because that person's giving the cue. And then after just a couple tries, that person can just stand there, you give the cue, and the horse will lay down, and then, and then in a very short period of time you won't need that second person. This can be done with, with a saddle on or without a saddle. If you have big, thick uh, stirrups, you probably want to take those stirrups off so they don't lay on a stirrup. If your stirrups are uh, narrow, then I, I suppose you can still do it. Just make sure you, you get your feet kicked out of that stirrup when it's time to uh, spread your legs apart and plant your feet on the ground. So what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, to transfer our cue from being on the ground and giving their cue to lay down. We're going to be on their back, giving them the cue to lay down. Got the reins in your hand, spur on your foot. We're going to put that rope back on her laying down side, and we're going to get on her back. We'll give her the cue. As soon as we feel that she's lifted her foot, we're going to pull up on that foot. But usually this is not uh, this is not a problem. Usually, if, if they're used to laying down, they'll do it with with you on their back. Uh, but you do have to be a capable rider. So you'll give them the cue to lift their foot, and you pick that foot up so they can't have it. Then you got the range in your hand, <laughs> and you're saying, let's lay down, let's lay down. They'll go to the bow. That's a point where they might jump back up. So the question is, how do you get to the ground safely from the back of your horse? Well, you're on the horse. The horse gets halfway down to the ground, and you decide to shift your weight and put put some weight on the ground. And then the horse changes his mind and jumps back up. And then you're doing the splits and you're laying on the ground because you put your weight down too quickly. What you want to do is you want to stay on top of your horse. Now your horse puts one foot down and starts, starts going down. You don't want to go with that horse. You want to stay up on top of the horse. Even the horse is a little bit sideways you stay on top until the horse is committed to laying down. Once they're committed to laying down, then you stretch that leg out from the horse, put your foot on the ground, they lay down and you step off. Or you can also let them lay down, put both feet on the ground, and you got your feet on the ground straddling your horse. If you put your foot on the ground right next to the horse, they roll on it. And then you got to hit the ground just to protect your knee. And if you put your foot down too quickly, they change their mind and you end up on the ground protecting your whatever. <laughs> so, stay on top of the horse. He'll twist a little bit. You stay on top. And once the horse is committed, you stretch your leg out. Put it down on the ground away from the horse. They, get, they go on down and you step off. And then you've got your reins right here to control their behavior. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so I've got my long reins. I'm going to put them on the left side because she's going to lay down to the right. I've got my rope here on her foot. And again, this is 
this horse's direction is opposite of what she's used to. So we'll see if she lays down or she dances around a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna give her the cue to lift that foot and start bowing. I'm gonna lift up on that rope and gonna hang on to that rope, hang on the reins until we're safe down on the ground. Okay, let's lay down. Lay down. There you go, pick up on that foot. I'm hurting my spur. There you go. Stand in the center. Stand in the center. There we go. <laughs> He's trying to work a way around to be facing the right direction. Oh, that's a good girl. My other horses I can step off of pretty easily. She goes down kind of weird and it throws my balance off. So I got to stay on her and stay with her till she's on the ground. So we'll see if we can pull some slack in that foot rope now. Enough to unhook her, free your foot up. There you go, we just leave that land there. Nice girl, step off of her. Yeah. Keep our reins where we can reach them, especially the upper rein. That's a good girl. Okay, you want to come up for a treat? Come up for a treat. Here we go. There you go. Add a girl. Get a treat. That's a good girl. See if there's anything we do with this rope. No, nope, it's still stuck there, so. Toss it up there and come back down. Good girl. Toss that rope forward so now she's rolled off of it. We can get rid of it. Good girl. Okay, we'll have her sit up just so we don't mess up her routine. Okay, girl. You sit up for us. Here we go. That's a good girl. All the way. All the way, all the way, come on. That's a girl, that's a girl. Okay. So you be on that back with that foot on, that rope on their foot. <clears throat> they lift the leg, take that foot out of play, and lay them down. After just a few times of doing it, you can start trying it without using that rope. You can still put the rope on them, but not pull on it. And then don't use the rope at all. There'll come a time when she decides, you know, I don't feel like doing that today. I'm not going to do it. And on those days, you put the rope back on, lift her foot, and say, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I don't care if it is Thursday or if it is a holiday. You know, we're out here working. You're expected to do it. So after a while, they don't question whether they're going to do it or not. They just do it. Now we'll do the same trick with this, with this horse. I'm going to put her in her usual spot. Uh, we'll have her come to her usual spot. Have her lay down without a uh, foot rope and without uh, without any rain. Here you go. Here. Okay, I'll give her a cue. I'll pretend like I've got rings on her. Do the same motion. Lay down. There you go. It's also handy to lay them down on the side that's away from the audience because they can't see my spur. There you go. Just lay down. There you go. One more time. Oh no, you did it perfect twice already. Here we go. Atta girl. Atta girl. You're gonna stay in the middle of this horse. Stay in the middle. Okay. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. Get up for a treat. Come on up. Hup. I know. So I'm doing. Come on. Let's go. You gonna sit up? Okay. And a girl. All right there. And a girl. Okay. There you go. All right, that's laying your horse down. 
<laughs> most important thing, don't get hurt. Second most important thing is don't let your horse get hurt. Now if you have mobility problems, you don't feel very quick on your feet. That first couple times laying that horse down, you know, you've already got him bowing. Laying him down the first time, they want to prance around and resist. So you might, uh, you might get some help for that. Get uh, some other, another horseman or, or some teenage kid who takes directions from you and is fearless and, and have, is quick on their feet. <laughs> Clear everything out of your arena so you don't trip and so the horse doesn't fall on it. But uh, just like in the scene from the, uh, the horse whisperer, he had that horse's foot tied up and had it over the saddle horn. Kind of controlled that horse with a long rope around their round pen. And you can do it the same way. Pulling that head around to the far side, have them, have them fall towards you, rope would be on the inside foot. But that's probably not necessary. I imagine that for a horse, trip training is like when we go to the dentist, or when I go to the dentist. I go to the dentist, I sit in the chair, he brings this tray out with all these different tools. And then he starts with doing this, and then it's nah, 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 and then, 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 it picks up another tool. I never know when it's gonna end. I don't never know when he's gonna finish with this tool, pick up another one, and then go back to the first tool. It could last forever. In this horse's mind, this training could last forever. So we develop a routine. You go through the tricks in order, I would suggest. And especially with this laying down trick, the horse needs to know once they do it right, they lay down, they stay there until they're given the cue to get up. Once they do that, they're done. They know how to get to the end of the laying down trick, and that is they lay down and wait for the cue to get up. If they do that, they get up, and their main reward is they don't have to lay down again. They get up, they get a pat, give them a treat, and I think it's important, once they do a trick correctly, they don't have to repeat it. Another question is, should you lay them down with the same foot that you had them bow? And that's not a problem. Especially if you're going to bow on the ground and lay down when you're on their back. If that's the case, then it feels totally different to them. It's a different part of the show. You give them this cue to bow at the end of the show, and in the middle of the show, you're up here giving them this cue to, uh, to lay down. You can do that with the same foot. If you're going to do both of those tricks, bowing and laying down, with you standing on the ground, then you're kind of giving, you're in the same position, you're kind of giving the same cue. That might be more difficult. I guess I would suggest that would be a good time to, to bow with one foot and then lay down with the other. As it works out with this horse, for some reason, I uh, taught her to bow and lay down with, with opposite legs. And that's, so just, that's just the way she does it. All the rest of my horses bow and lay down with the same leg, but that's okay because bowing I'm on the ground with them and laying down I'm on their back so there's no confusion about what I want. That's how to lay your horse down while you're on its back. Have fun with your horse. Press like and share and subscribe. Thanks for coming, we'll see you next time.